Hey, growth friends, how are you? I'm Sage, I'm a growth coach, and welcome back to our videos for growth. Um, we've got a topic today that is a lesson that I wish I would have learned a long time ago, and I still need to practice more, so I'm gonna share it with you and we can grow together. It's called the power of the 24 hour rule. So have you heard of the 24 hour rule? Well, um, it, it came up in conversation the other day and um, I have a lot of really good coaching friends who uh, they have a policy w that they give to their parents before the season starts, right? And the policy is that, um, you know, after a game happens, you need to wait 24 hours to contact the coach with anything that you're disgruntled about. Playing time is usually number one, but um, there's a lot of emotions in sports and people tend to get riled up and then they wanna, you know, snap it, snap at everybody, you know, right after the event. And we're trying to teach kids how to act respectful and responsible in um, youth sports. And this 24 hour rule is really good because it gets the parents in check. Now, I'm not just talking about the 24 hour rule with sports. I'm talking about the 24 hour rule with um, the context of your friends and your family and your significant other. And if you're having, um, you know, life's throwing you some curveballs and, and maybe you're disagreeing with somebody, you know, our emotions can get really high and we want to make sure when we're we're making big decisions about what we're going to commit to or say we want to be in a, a centered place a rested place so basically what the 24-hour rule is is that anytime you get triggered by something you should wait at least 24 hours to simmer down get recentered, and then react and hopefully your reaction will then come from a place of peace and from your heart. Now, obviously possible triggers can be a fight, a disagreement, um, something or someone that disappoints you. And the purpose is 24 hours can give you space, distance, and time. This allows you to, uh, you know, feel your emotions. I want you to feel your emotions, but at a certain point, we've got to choose to kind of disconnect from those emotions and kind of watch them pass by and be okay, and then re get recentered. So, a couple quotes. Before you react, wait. Before you spend, earn. Before you criticize, wait. Before you quit, try, okay? William Arthur Ward. So, it's just saying that there's a lot of things we do in life that we jump to do too fast, and we need to make sure we're prepared and centered and and ready for that here's another one every time you're tempted to react in the same old way ask yourself if you want to be a prisoner of your past or a pioneer of your future that's a really good one and that's by Deepak Chopra so let me ask you a couple questions when was the last time you were quick to react in an argument and said things that you didn't mean I can think of my recent time. Have you ever used the 24 hour rule? If not, maybe it's time. <laughs> Cause it's pretty powerful, right? It keeps us from putting our foot in our mouth and saying things that we really don't mean. We're just highly emotional. So let me give you three 24 hour rule tips. So tip number one, is walk away with grace and respect, okay? So you could maybe say something like, I'm gonna remove myself from this and cool down and discuss this again tomorrow. The key is don't storm out, slam doors, like, I can't talk to you anymore. I know it's hard, easier said than done. I've been there several times, right? Um, but if we could just, uh, Butter talk for a second, say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this situation, cool down, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. So it's the walk away with grace rule, okay? Um, two, 
change the channel. You know, if you saw something you didn't like on TV, you just change the channel, right? So after you walk away, do something else or think about something else. Don't just go sit, just go sit in your own space and just like stew like, Ugh, I'm so right. I know they're wrong. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> You're just festering up the emotions, right? So take a deep breath and then organize something or, um, you know, make a meal or do something that takes your mind off of uh, how crazy uh, your emotions got elevated. Um, now, remember, this doesn't mean you're avoiding it. Uh, you're just cooling down. Okay. All right. So that's number two, change the channel. And then number three, when you return, do so with grace. Okay. And then from a place of love, right? We calm down and then we see the bigger picture, right? And then we go, oh, okay, that's why they feel the way they do. That's why I feel the way I do. Let's come to a peaceful resolution on this situation. Um, because people are going to react way better if you really prove to them that you love them and you care about them. If you always come from a place of love, it's going to be tough for somebody to get angry with you. So there's the 24 hour rule. Walk away with grace, change the channel. And when you return, do so with grace, peace and love. Okay. So let's see if you can put the 24 hour rule into effect. Uh, I'm going to keep practicing because, uh, I, I think everybody needs this one because you'll have different triggers in life. And I wish you the best as you learn to grow with me and just thanks for your time. Appreciate you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, I really appreciate it. If you like or subscribe, that keeps this ship afloat. Thanks. Bye-bye.